as a G1 storm, the storm is expected to be relatively light although the possibility for something to worry about remains. A strange shock wave and a whirlwind wind has sent a torrent of rapid material crushing into Earth's attractive field, opening up a break in the magnetosphere. Today, December 19th, the barrage of plasma could trigger a geomagnetic storm. Scientists think the shockwave could have been caused by a coronal mass ejection caused by the sunspot AR3165, a bubbling region on the surface of the sun that released at least eight solar flares on December 14th, resulting in a brief radio blackout over the Atlantic Ocean. Sunspots are regions on the sun's surface where the flow of electrical charges creates powerful magnetic fields that first form kinks before suddenly snapping. Coronal mass ejections, CMEs, and bursts of radiation known as solar flares are the results of this release of energy. When directed at Earth, CMEs can cause geomagnetic storms by sweeping up charged particles from the solar wind and traveling at millions of miles per hour once they are launched. When energetic solar debris, mostly electrons, protons, and alpha particles, gets absorbed by Earth's magnetic field and compresses it, geomagnetic storms occur. Solar particles travel through Earth's atmosphere near the poles, where the Earth's protective magnetic field is at its weakest, agitating oxygen and nitrogen molecules, which then release light-emitting energy to create colorful auras like the northern lights. Additionally, the storms may open magnetosphere cracks that allow solar material to flow through and disrupt satellites, radio communications, and power systems for hours at a time. Fortunately, today's predicted G1 class storm will be relatively weak. It may impede some satellite functions, including those for mobile devices and GPS systems, as well as cause minor power grid fluctuations. Additionally, it could cause Aurora to appear as far south as Maine and Michigan. Geomagnetic storms that are more severe, on the other hand, can cause far more serious problems. They have the ability to not only disrupt electrical systems and even render the internet useless, but they can also warp the magnetic field of our planet to a degree that would send satellites crashing to the surface. As the Sun enters the most active phase of its roughly 11-year solar cycle, the upcoming storm is just the latest in a series of solar attacks on Earth. Since 1775, astronomers have known that the Sun's activity changes over time. However, the Sun has recently been more active than expected, with nearly twice as many sunspots appearing as the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration predicted. The Sun's activity is expected to rise steadily over the next few years, reaching a global maximum in 2025 before decreasing once more. The Carrington event of 1859 was the most powerful solar storm ever recorded. It produced roughly the same amount of energy as 10 billion 1 megaton atomic bombs. The powerful stream of solar particles that hit Earth destroyed telegraph systems worldwide and caused auroras that were brighter than the full moon to appear as far south as the Caribbean. Scientists warn that a similar event today would result in damage worth trillions of dollars, widespread blackouts, and the loss of thousands of lives. A past sun-powered storm in 1989 delivered a billion-ton tuft of gas that caused a power outage across the whole Canadian region of Quebec, NASA revealed. However, this may only scratch the surface of what our star has to offer. In addition, the cause of a series of sudden and enormous spikes in radiation levels that have been recorded in ancient tree rings throughout Earth's history is being investigated by scientists. The main hypothesis is that the spikes might have come from sun-oriented storms multiple times more impressive than the Carrington occasion, yet researchers presently can't seem to preclude another possibly obscure infinite source. In a related article, experts go on to say, 9,200 years ago, our planet was battered by a powerful solar storm that left permanent marks on the ice beneath Greenland and Antarctica. 
A new study of those ancient ice samples has revealed that this previously unknown storm is one of the strongest solar weather outbursts ever observed. If it had hit Earth today, it would have crippled modern communications systems. In any case, maybe most amazing, the monstrous tempest seems to have hit during a sun-based least, the point during the sun's 11-year cycle when sun-oriented explosions are regularly significantly less normal, as per the review, distributed January 11th in the Diary Nature Correspondences. The study's researchers are worried that devastating solar storms could strike when we least expect them and that Earth might not be ready for the next one because of this unexpected discovery. Risk assessments currently do not sufficiently account for these enormous storms. Analyzing what these occurrences might imply for the technology of today and how we can safeguard ourselves is of the utmost importance. Magnetic field lines on the sun's corona the outermost layer of its atmosphere, become tangled and violently snap back into place, causing solar storms. This unexpected attractive reconnection can deliver colossal gouts of plasma and attractive fields known as coronal mass launches, CMEs, which surf across space on the sun's steadily blasting sun-oriented breeze. A geomagnetic storm is the result of a powerful CME compressing Earth's magnetic shield when it passes over the planet. Satellites can be damaged and mild geomagnetic storms can disrupt radio transmissions, power transformers and other electrical infrastructure can be permanently damaged by severe storms, such as the 2003 Halloween storms, which can cause widespread power outages around the world. Undersea internet cables could also be destroyed by a sufficiently powerful solar storm, according to some researchers causing an internet apocalypse in which large segments of the global population would be cut off from the internet for months. When the sun enters the phase of its natural activity cycle known as the solar maximum, when magnetic activity in the corona is at its highest level, CME outbursts typically reach their maximum around once every 11 years. Today, satellites are able to directly observe solar eruptions. However, Atomic detective work is required to locate evidence of ancient storms. The new study's authors looked for evidence of cosmogenic radionuclides, which are radioactive isotopes, versions of elements, produced when charged solar particles collide with Earth's atmosphere elements. Natural records like ice cores and tree rings can contain these radioactive particles. The latter was the focus of the study which analyzed a number of cores drilled in Greenland and Antarctica. Around 9,200 years ago, cores from both locations revealed a remarkable spike in the radionuclides chlorine-36 and beryllium-10, indicating that Earth was struck by a powerful solar storm. The storm's occurrence during a solar minimum, when magnetic activity on the sun should be low, left the study authors puzzled and alarmed and further analysis of the cores revealed that it was particularly powerful, possibly comparable to the most powerful solar storm ever detected. The study's authors wrote, this storm further pushes the magnitude of a potential worst-case scenario for, solar storm, events. The authors of the study claim that in order to ascertain whether there is a pattern that dictates when the most severe storms will occur outside of the sun's 11-year cycle, it is now essential for researchers to locate more ancient extreme storms in the ice core and tree ring records. If you found this video interesting then watch our related video which will be on the end screen. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoy our content, and never want to miss a video, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.